Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah, why are you doing this again? What am I doing what? Yeah, I haven't got the camera on. I'm telling you the truth. The timer's there. What timer? I don't see anything. Want my glasses? I got them. You I brought them. I need, I don't know what happened to my glasses. My glasses are all messed up. Uh, I so, what's happening? Now we haven't got special effects for like two lumen. <laughs> the way it is. Oh, natural. Oh, natural. Well, not really oh, natural, but oh, natural. With clothes. With clothes. So, you were telling me a story about something else that we didn't talk about before. And I said, you should have that on. The duck thing. The, the rabbits. The rabbits. So, at the duck place, it has rabbits. Mm -hmm. mm. We don't have them, we haven't sent them. What do you mean? Yeah, you're a factory that makes ra uh, duck food. Yep, yeah, we also kill rabbits. You kill rabbits. For food? <laughs> yeah, for food. Okay, so what happens there? Well, you never killed a rabbit, right? How do you kill a rabbit? I don't know how they do it. Is there two separate sections for that? Yeah. Yeah, because we can't put them together because it's cross-contamination. Right. So we can't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting. So what else is going on? Cheers. Cheers. What else is going on? I don't know. So what happened to you? You have your... Well, who's car you Shauna? Shauna's. Hey, Shauna. What's happening? What's going on over there, Shauna? What are you doing? I'm going to go to sleep for all night. Oh, yeah? How much is the sleeping now? From about, oh, I'd say 9 o'clock at night till 7.30 in the morning. Okay, and how's the other siblings doing? Vanessa and Shauna? I'm so tired. Huh? Vanessa and Shauna? Vanessa and Corey. How's Vanessa and Corey doing? And Vanessa's babysitting? Uh, not tonight. No, but she babysits. She does. She does. Do you babysit? Yes. She likes it now more. And Corey? Because he's more getting into walking and the characters coming out. The last time I seen Corey, well, we dropped him off there and he was speeding. He wanted us to speed way out to the gravel and make him like a big hot out there in front of his pals Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he's a man's man. Yes! Yeah, we need to make us spin our tires. Oh yeah, spin the tires at the rocks fly, baby. Get what and scratch their truck that they were driving? Yeah. It was a crappy they, truck, but anyway. Well, it wouldn't be fun to spin the tires on. So what about Vanessa at the Timor? What happened? Did she, did she didn't work there anymore? No, she was the ITA. Okay. She's a cashier at the ITA. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you do realize that you look very nice with I actually like that. You like that? <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I think I look hideous. No. Darth Moon Vader. No. Darth Vader. This is actually the longest I've seen your hair on the sun. I know! It's terrible. Usually it's. It's got to be razor sharp. Or like a Marine. A like a Canadian Marine. I don't think we have Canadian, Canadian Marines. Do we have them? Oh, yeah. Actually, they can have their hair fairly long. No, I, I want to like razor sharp me. Oh, you anyway, the, that's me. You want the old crew cut. Oh, you're like a, you're like a hair expert. Girl no. spends so much time. No, uh, no not at all. Hmm. Not at all. Bay we. So let's talk about your, your mom. What's going on with your mom? And that she have a boyfriend? I don't know what the guy's name is. Donald. Do you don't remember me, Pam? Yeah, I met him in house. Hey, Donald, how are you, pal? And how's mommy? Mommy looks hot. We're going after your mother. Yeah. Oh, we can't say that on TV. He's so in love with my mother. 
Yeah, he is a good egg. Yeah, he is. She's going to huge heart. Yeah. Yeah, she's good egg. Okay. Yeah. He's got a huge heart. He's forever giving her compliments. He's a gentleman. The, He's good the two of them come over to my place. And He's like, well, Diane, you're going to make us coffee? I'll make us coffee, I will. So, uh, yeah. How old are they? Bald Parker. I'm not saying the race. Right. <laughs> right. In between 40 and 80. That's good. <laughs> okay. So they're Pretty good. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Mm. My so mother, too. So they lived out there all their life, kind of deal? No. No, actually, my mother was married to my father and... After my father passed away, she remarried. Oh, so she's a widow. I didn't know that. Well, she remarried. Mm -hmm. And she lived down in East Richford. And when he passed away, she came back uh, to Canada. Went to Townsville. Okay. And it took her a while then. And she found Donald. Mm -hmm. I, I like Donald. Okay. I actually went to school with Donald's uh, son. Two, two of his boys, but I was in one class with one of his boys, which was really nice. So there's a little history there. Well, I haven't seen him since school. Okay. Well, so who's your favorite person in Cowansville? I think Cowansville is a pretty small place. Cowansville, Quebec, Canada. Hmm? <laughs> okay, it's a pretty small place. But my, my favorite person there? Favorite character person of all time. Mom. Could be anybody. Could be like the bum in the street or whatever. No, my mom. My oh, mom yeah? is so awesome. Why is your mom so awesome? Because when she found that I was moving from Sutton to Townsville, mm -hmm. she asked me if uh, she can go and look at the apartment. So I gave her the key. And her and Donald went and spent three days cleaning the apartment. No, that's love, baby. You know, that's like genuine affection of doing something. That's she, wonderful. She cleaned it's such a heartfelt moment. Bottom and the day that did, did I tell you moved. I was born in a test tube? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I don't have no mom, no, no dad. It, it, oh, you fam. It, it's terrible. I, I was born in a test tube. You fib. I'm not fibbing. I don't know my mother. She was like a glass vial or something. Uh huh. Maybe that's why I like this stuff so much. It reminds me of glass files. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I get along with my mother. 10% of the time. <laughs> my dad's even less of a poor man. I love the guy inherently because of my father. But it's about it, unfortunately. Hmm. But I have brothers. You know, I have like my brother Kim. He's my full blooded, blooded brother. He's like. Uh, I love my brother Kim. He, he's so funny. And then I have like a stepbrother, John Foswell, clearly. He's like really cool. But I don't have history with these people. This is where my half sister's dad for who, who, who knows? You can never get a good story from any one of these people. You never get the truth. So you don't know, know what's what half the time. Yeah, but at what age? I don't know. You're asking me. We're like all over the place. Don't ask me to think right now. It's like impossible. But if, the important thing is, is that I know. One twenty-five. Oh, that's late. Damn. We gotta go to bed. We're going to sleep. Are you sleeping on me? You gotta sleep on me because I I can't sleep normally. No, I'm just no, I have like half brothers, half sisters, all that stuff. Yeah. I I never know. I had them. I would like to do like a family tree thing, but it would probably be com complicated. Actually, it's not. Because there, if you go to a, a website for your family tree, you can track way back to the 1800s. Really? You get your, yeah. I would have to ask my cousin's wife exactly how to do it. She did it. Okay. And but she was like, she let was somebody put in the information. But if nobody puts in the information... No. No, not really. All she did was go by family members, and you have to know, like, the maiden names of 
the mother's, okay. your mother's mother, which but is they would have to punch that information. They'd have to get that from somewhere. Actually, you, you can go to, um, I think it's, it's not the town hall. Um, I don't know where Jenny went. And Jenny found out all of the family history. Okay. Jenny's another super. Okay. Yeah. The only one I don't get along with my family is my cousin. Mm -hmm. It's only because we're three days apart in the Well, there's probably other facts. Probably we haven't had time to really get to know each other. And all that stuff. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Time heals all the wounds and pains. It really does. Okay, we've been going on 40 years between us. Well, and it's going uh, to take 42 years. No, but it will subside. Darling. Ten, ten minutes tops. And you get aggravated with each other. Yeah, I just take uh, I'm ready to turn around and strangle her, so I walk out. Right. That's it. I'm gone. I I'm out of there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we're going to run into people like that all the time in our lives at one point or another. In the family? Yeah. In the family, you shot. You know, siblings are made to be at war at each other. They really are. Not supposed to. Brothers, sisters, cousins, we're all meant to fight. We're all meant to. And believe it or not, it sharpens each other up. I don't know how, how that manifests itself, but I mean, I'm sure I can get into a whole big dialogue of it all. But it works out. Time will heal a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, we're on 11 minutes, 44 seconds. Say, okay, close it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Where's your hand? Give me your hand. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good night and...